<laughs> Say hi. 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 All right, guys. Everyone have the uh, definitions? All right. I'm going to take that silence for a yes. So I'm going to just start press ganging you one at a time. Uh, by which I am going to recruit you to, you know. Yeah, for definitions, synonyms, antonyms, stuff like that. Let's get this camera working. Yeah. Um, so, because we've talked so much about it already before defining it, we're going to uh, deal with labyrinthine. And labyrinthine is a very weird word. You're not going to see it a lot. There are not going to be a lot of cover letters or <laughs> resumes that say labyrinthine on them. But it's still a good word to know because in the million to one chance you see it around, now you're prepared for it. Now you know what it means. And maybe you can get a little bit something more out of that story you're reading or that article or, God forbid, you know, that um, description of a product. If they're describing it as labyrinthine, you're on to something. Uh, it actually comes from the word labyrinth. Uh, I could go even deeper and tell you what the word labyrinth means in Greek, but I, I suspect that would only cloud the issue. So I'm going to leave it out. You want to know it? Uh, labyrinth literally means hall of the double axe in Greek, because the guy who built the map, labyrinth Minos put the double axe insignia into the tiles in the labyrinth, because the axes were a big thing in ancient Greece. However, not the point. I, I, I like hearing my the sound of my own voice far too much to be healthy, so I'm going to cut to the point. A labyrinth is an elaborate maze. It's you know who here has been in the corn maze? Or anything like that, or around the fall. Corn field. Well, yeah, that can be seem labyrinthine if you don't know where you're going. Yeah. You get there too tall. Yeah, you can't see a, you can't see your you know nose right. in front of your face. It's it's amazing. So labyrinthine gives you a hint about what it means in the first word if you know what labyrinth is. Um, so who here has uh, a definition for it that they want to put up on the board? Uh, so intricate, complex. Okay. Mm -hmm. Complex. Uh, to understand. Intricate. Right, but they also serve as a definition. Uh, synonyms are I like that. Difficult to understand. convoluted. I like that too. Mm -hmm. I got complicated. I like that. Complicated. All right, cool. So, antonyms, things that mean the exact opposite of labyrinthine. This ought to be an E of breeze for you guys. It's simple. Simple. Okay. I, of course, knew that. <laughs> no, no, no. Simple, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Excellent. Simple. Obvious. Water. Obvious. Hands. Clear. Dotson. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Cornelius. Antonyms of labyrinthine. Uh, straightforward. Ah, oh, straightforward is good, yeah. Straight. Right. So it's crucial to distinguish between the word labyrinth and labyrinthine. Labyrinthine is used always to describe something else. It can't stand on its own. Okay? Whereas the word labyrinth is an actual place, or a noun, person, place, thing. Whereas labyrinthine is an adjective which describes something else. Uh, Should a cover letter be labyrinthine? No. no. Yes. Very well. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I mean, God. <laughs> yes, your answer was correct. Your answer of no was He's correct. That's what I meant. <laughs> right. No, of course not. No, no. I'm sure. trying to come to the point. Yes, it's you want difficult to, to understand. You're not helping your case for getting a job. Quite right. Would there ever be would there ever be an opportunity for a labyrinthine uh, cover letter in any type of situation? Well, so certainly not for a resume. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, maybe, um, maybe. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say you should write one because you're only making. You, you could receive one. It could be a very complex shipping error. And, you know, went to Hong Kong and then it went here and then you know, and it's not explained well. I think you could receive one. I wouldn't uh, suggest writing one. Having actually written one as actually a small story, I wrote a deliberately labyrinthine cover letter for who here was in TNS one last semester. Oh yeah, you guys, or this semester for that matter. I, I wrote it up, wrote it as convoluted as possible, 
and then how have you guys helped me edit it? That is an example of a labyrinthine cover letter, which is, you know, never should be seen by the employer or the per, you know, person you're submitting it to. So in other words, the answer to my question is you only you write something like that for educational purposes or fact finding or or your first draft can be more labyrinthine than you would like, but after you cut it, it becomes simpler, straightforward, more intuitive. But you're not sending out to make it labyrinthine. Uh, Resumation never be uh, No, it should be. Yeah, that's right. All right, so moving on to the relatively easier word, uh, at least in syllables count. Um, primacy. Who's got something for me there? Uh, who haven't I picked on yet? Miss Cheryl. Mm, I figured it. Yeah, I figured <laughs> right. Predominance or supremacy. Okay, supremacy. All right. Um, the rank of being, the state of being in the first. Uh, th there's a hint in this. Uh, anyone? Primal. Prime. Yeah, yeah Primal. The, the prefix P-R-I-M. Primary. Usually, you know, primaries, like you ever see a bird's wing? The big ones in the middle are the primaries, and they're largely responsible for fight. You know, primary is always important. That P-R-M prefix is a huge, huge indicator of what the word is going to be about. Uh, what would be the primary grades? You know, you're talking about schools and kids, and what would be the primary grades? Grade. Well, grade, well, that would be the subjects, yes, but grade, grade levels. Oh, oh I'm, no, uh, let me, yeah. I see what you mean. Grade levels, like, is it seventh, sixth, you know? Oh, Grade. Right. Yeah. So if you're in primary oh, school, first, what? second, third, fourth. Yeah, right. Right. The right. first one. First, oh, second, third. Grade. Don't think about tests. Uh, I know. Yeah. About. Uh, right. I'm about I knew what you were thinking. Yeah. Ah. And you were right. <laughs> over a particular area, then that means it's in your jurisdiction. Power. So, okay. I guess power could be one. I did have something that says jurisdiction two, but uh, strong as a leader. Right. That's fair. All right. So antonyms, opposites of power, authority, etc. What do you got for me? Now, Miss Cheryl, I can call on you. Inferiority. Inferiority. Okay. Hey, I'm we heard that. Last. Inferiority, weakness, etc. So you all get the point of these. All right, cool. So when we get back, we will explore the wide and wonderful world of cover letters, which most of you have already done at some point or another. So this will be both easier and slightly more difficult since peer review is going to be a lot more fun with a more substantial. Uh, document. Uh, please leave my classroom. Come back at three. Let me see what actual time it is. Three twenty-five. See you then, guys. Nice job. Oh wow! Is that? Can't hold that. Curse myself. All right, guys. With the exception of some, what? You cool? Oh, okay, fine. You guys have earned it. I worked too pretty hard. It's usually 15. Uh, well, wait. 325. 325. Um, I'll be here. Sure. So, uh, yeah, sure. Let me show this camera. Uh, I did not. You're fired. I'm fired. Uh, you don't mean that.